Dragging at the hands of the Gators with a 44 to 11 loss down in the swamp. LJ Dragner, leftover hot dog blog. I mean, right from the top, dude, what happened? You can't turn the ball over four times. Can't be inconsistent on offense and expect to win. Um, right. Three for 14 on third downs. They've had the ball, you know, 10 more minutes than Carolina. You know, if you just don't produce on offense. The defense is going to wear down over time, mm -hmm. and you give them the ball on the one yard line, they're going to they're going to score. I mean, everybody um, fumbles. It just there was, a, I guess, a myriad of of just issues. Yeah, from the get go, I just don't think they were all in it. You mm -hmm. know, to, in hostile environment. You know, the swamp's loud. Um, right. And Florida's a good team. You can't make those mistakes and expect to win. Um, sure. You know, they're not a D2 school, they're a SEC powerhouse, and, you know, they're right where they've been all along. You know, they've won national championships, you know, they've done everything right, and they got good players, and you right. just can't turn the ball over. <laughs> Were you expecting the thumping that you got? I thought it was going to be a lot closer. Um, I felt, you know, 21-17, a close game. Mm -hmm. I didn't see 44-11. Right. By no means. What about uh, pulling Shaw? Did you expect that? Did you see that coming? You can, I mean, I know Spurrier has a history of, of yanking the, right. the quarterbacks. Now, what do you think? You know, I thought they were going to pull him and probably put him back in, get a little mo motivation behind him, talk to him, um, mm -hmm. you know, let Dylan Thompson have a chance. But um, Would you have done that if you were the uh, coach and down there making the calls? Yeah, you know, maybe make a move, but then bring him back in. Um, things weren't going his way. You weren't running Lattimore. Um, so, you know, right. and Shaw couldn't run outside the pocket. And he was inconsistent. Um, you know, he tried to jumpstart that offense, but uh, it just didn't work. Sure. Well, you know what? It's, it's over. It's over. Can't do nothing about it. It's in the history books. But uh, let's, let's go ahead and look forward to, uh, to this weekend, the Vols. Yeah, better matchup back at home. Um, you know, home, home field advantage is always mm -hmm. great. Um, we've been on the road the last two weeks, and we've seen what, how the environment has changed. South Carolina, you know, two weeks ago we were talking national championship or SC championship. Right. Now we're, you know, maybe looking for 11-win season. Hoping for a bowl, right? Right. Well, we're already bowl eligible. But um, Tennessee's, you know, 3-4, and 0-4 oh in SEC. Okay. They're Backs are against the wall. They got some good players. And, I mean, they're hurt, but their their series against USC has been stupendous. Twenty two six is the series traditionally against USC. Now you're looking at, uh, you know, they're not having a very good season at all. You said zero and four in the SEC. Yeah, historically, though, Tennessee's a great program. They've, they've been down. Um, Derek Dooley's, you know, probably looking for a new job next year. Right. Um, you know, Can you, he do anything? Can he save his job at this point? Maybe. You know, you went out. Um, you know, beat a, beat a ranked South Carolina team. Um, beat Vandy. Beat Kentucky. You know, have some wins. Um, but I, I don't think so. I think he's gone. Um, but you know, they do have good players. Um, they've only given up three sacks, none by defensive linemen. So you know, if our defense has to show up again this week because they can right. play the ball and run the ball, um, but their defense is not playing very well. They're giving up over you know 450 yards a game. Um, so you know, we should be a lot easier this week to score some points. Um, sure. Yeah. So if Shaw should have a good game. Lattimore should is, be. Is he gonna, Shaw going to start? You think? Shaw's going to start. He's going to okay. play the whole game. I'm um, sorry, said that the other day. They're going to run Lattimore. Um, so look for him to get you know probably 20, 25 carries. Sure. Um, mixing Kenny Miles and Mike Davis as well. Now there is still some history. If you don't know, there's some some history that USC can make. The last two times they faced the Vols, they've won. Mm -hmm. If they win on Saturday, it'd be the thir first time ever three in a row. Three so a row. there's still some yeah. history for this season left that uh, the old ball coach can hang his hat on for sure. Yeah, South Carolina has also won eight games at home, so you know that's always you know right. keep going, moving nine, nine wins in a row at home. So. All right, all right. So game time, by the way, kickoff is at noon. Is that going to impact it all? The I know people are are kind of beat up and forlorn from the last couple of games. A noontime game against the Vols. What do you see for attendance and the fans? Um, I think attendance will be good. Um, I just it's hard to get a team motivated for a noon kickoff. You know, you played at eight, you played at three thirty, and now you know you're mm -hmm. regressing back to to noon. Right. Um, and it's always hard to motivate a team at noon. We haven't played as well at, at 12 o'clock either, but um, I think the fans will be behind. You know, still a lot, a lot riding on the season. Sure, you know, good team. Sure, win a lot. All right, what's your pick then Saturday? The official leftover hot dog pick from L.J. Dragner. I'm going 24-14 South Carolina. I think it'll be a little bit lower, lower score than expected. Um, spreads 14, 13 and a half, but right. I, I think 24-14 sounds about right. Um, Tennessee will score. They do have a good offense. We'll see. Game time kickoff at uh, at noon. We'll talk again next week. Actually, by next by week next week, we'll by talk week, again yeah. and figure out how we do as you see USC tries to salvage the season. Yeah, you had predicted ten and two. Ten and two. And so as long as they don't lose another game, right on four. Oh yeah. There you go. All right, I'll keep trying. The leftover hot dog is the blog. Thank you for your insight. And uh, right, cocky. Yeah, a little cocky says absolutely.